looking over Biona wetlands. This became a state park in 2003, and since then, plans to restore it have dragged on. Earlier in 2000, I secured $25 million in a state bond act to add acreage to the wetlands near the marina. Today, I'm running for the Los Angeles City Council, and I'm running for the district that includes the wetlands. If I'm elected, I will provide the leadership to restore it, leadership that has been sorely lacking under the current councilman. Currently, there are four official plans. The first one is quite extensive. I call that restoration heavy. And then there's a plan to do nothing. I want the voters of the council district to know that if I'm elected, we're going to restore the wetlands in a timely manner for all of the animals that live here and as an ecological reserve that the public can still enjoy and visit. I'm opposed to the restoration heavy proposal from the Department of Fish and Wildlife. Under that proposal, most of the walls of Biona Creek, the levees as they're called, would be torn down. That would have two serious consequences. One is that to provide flood protection, they'd have to build earthen berms all along Culver Boulevard, for example, to protect it from flooding and also cut it off from the public's view. The other problem is that it would wipe out a portion of the very popular bike path that sits atop one of those walls. And we don't have to do it. There are better alternatives. Instead, I believe we should just add more gates that allow more rainwater to percolate into the adjoining wetlands, effectively create more habitat while retaining uh, the, the popular bike path. For thousands of years, there were natural salt marshes here that provided for all of the species that are common along the California coast. And that needs to be part of the restoration plan. Whatever changes that we make, we need to do it in a thoughtful and careful manner so that we do not harm the animals and the birds that are you know, currently living there. Instead of building earthen berms along Culver Boulevard, I think that we need to start the process of raising Culver Boulevard. It's going to be susceptible to sea rise change that's, that's coming in the future. And we also need to connect the wetlands on one side of Culver Boulevard to what we hope will be new wetlands or recreated wetlands on the other side. We should start a process with the Department of Transportation and with Caltrans to eventually raise Culver Boulevard so that there's communication from one side of the wetlands to the other. And we need to make up for some past human activity that really degraded the wetlands. North of Biona Creek, there were millions of yards of soil dumped, particularly in the area along Fiji Way. I believe that we should, over a period of time, and in a way that will not harm the animals and the birds, to slowly remove that and lower it down so that area will become natural wetlands too. I'm Mark Ryavec. If you agree with me that we need to move ahead with restoration and yet do it in a way that protects the environment here, please vote for me on March 7th.